Let me paint a picture for you. It's your freshman year of high school. You're all bubbly and bright. You think it's going to be such a long time before graduation. Then bam, before you know it, you're walking across the stage to receive that special piece of paper. Soon you'll try to get an idea of where your future is headed, whether it be trade school, the workforce, or college. Everyone has reasons for their decision. Uh, new graduates and, or even more experienced adults may look at four-year colleges and universities as the only option, but you can dismiss community college. I know choosing a college that is the best fit it can be a difficult and tedious process. As someone who spent countless hours researching the best way to achieve a degree, I know everything can be overwhelming and um, with such a big decision on the line. After I considered my options, I came to the conclusion that community college can be just as rewarding as a four-year school to start out with. Now, as a community college student and with many community college graduates in my family, I feel that it is important to advocate for a sometimes disregarded opportunity. Today, I'm going to explain two points on why you should choose a community college first before you go to a four-year school. My first point will be on discussing the advantages and benefits of utilizing a two-year school. And my second point will be, will give you insight on the opportunities you have within and after community college. To start, let's look at the advantages and reasons to attend community college. Um, first, cost. College expenses can be a daunting factor to incoming students. For me, at least it was for me. No one wants to have huge debt, be in debt, or have huge loans just to get an education. And these um, financial costs can be significantly re reduced by going to community college. The median cost varies between state and state, but according to an online article titled Average Cost of Community College by a research analyst named Melanie Hansen that was published in December 2021, states that the average total cost for community college is just above $7,450. It's a noticeable difference compared to col some colleges that um, charge that just per semester. In addition, Public school for your schools are already expensive. And on top of that, if you want to go to a private school, it costs, the costs are even higher. While on the topic of cost, I found something interesting that when I was talking to my sister a couple weeks ago, she goes to a private four-year school and it's her senior year this year. She's only taken three classes per semester, but she still pays the same amount of tuition she has paid the last three years, even though she's taking less classes. As for me at Virginia Western Community College, I'm paying by credit hour and my semester cost is a fraction of what she is paying. Now that we've talked about flexibility in cost, let's shift to the topic of flexibility in schedules. I've been able to take all online classes this year and this semester, and by doing so, I've been able to work between 25 and 40 hours some weeks at, at my part-time job. By doing so, I have been able to increase my savings so that if I decide to transfer to a four-year school, I will have a little bit of money to offset the cost. Another example of flexibility in scheduling with community college would be with a coworker of mine who rides horses she, and she competes every weekend. She is able to be a full-time student, work part-time, enjoy her hobbies, and still have free time. I know this is not the case for everyone, but if you are, want a full-time job, full or part-time job, and um, want to be a full-time student and also have um, the comfort of your own home, you may look into community college because it may give you enough wiggle room to do so. Now that you know some of the benefits of starting out at your local two-year school, I would like to tell you about some of the statistics regarding associate's degree and opportunities that you may be, that may be in store for your future. First, transferring. One of my friends who finished at Virginia Western transferred to a four-year school and she absolutely loves the decision she made. She was able to transfer her credits and come in as a junior, and I um, also plan to eventually transfer, and I'm glad to know that the option is out there if that is what I decide. Even if I decide not to transfer after a four-year school, I still can have my associate's degree, or um, for other people, you could still have associate's degree or certificates under your belt within a couple of years at community college. Just by having an associate's degree, um, you will have a more opportunities to earn a higher salary in some careers.
In fact, an online article by the Bureau of Labor Statistics that was posted in late 2018 titled Employment Outlook for Occupations Requiring an Associate's Degree Certificate or Some College, and it was published by Elka Torpe, states that jobs utilizing an associate's degree have a median salary of $52,830 as opposed to high school graduates that average out with a median salary of $36,100. Through this speech, I gave you insight on why community college is better than four-year institution. I understand that that's a broad statement to say. I don't mean all community colleges are better than all four-year colleges. My main focus is, were the two points. My first point being that some, sometimes the advantages starting at a community college can outweigh the option of immediately rolling into a four-year school. And additionally, my second point was to show the opportunities you have by choosing a community college to start your college education. To close, I invite you to look into your local community college while also comparing it to alternative options. Check out their website, maybe even take a tour or talk to college staff. I've enjoyed my experience at community college so far, and I know community college is not for everyone, but it should definitely be a consideration during your college search process.